Alrighty, so the final video about this. I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys, all you fans on Reddit and YouTube and Twitter and everywhere. You talked enough about this that it actually made its way to the Lucasfilm headquarters and across Matt Martin's desk, where he actually got to ask the story group whether this is actually something real or canon or not. And well, this time I was lucky enough to actually tweet him as well, and here we go. For those still talking about this, I confirmed that, as suspected, this is fake. To which I replied to his tweet saying, It's so weird someone would fake this. I hope she comes back to canon eventually. Which, it is weird. I mean, who would put this on there? Maybe just some fan that was hoping to... Maybe it was the original person who posted this on Reddit. Maybe they put that there and they were like, I faked the internet. Where Matt said, I agree, but not like this. And anyway, her name showing up on a door wouldn't make the character canon anyway. It just means someone in the galaxy wrote those words on a door. And I said, thanks for the update, Matt. Now to that, of course, that makes sense because, you know, whatever he says pretty much goes because he's the Lucasfilm story group. But what I have to say to that is if someone in the galaxy knew her name like someone in galaxy's edge which is you know um the black spire in star wars if someone says her name on a door then doesn't that mean that they know who she is and if it's all in world you know in canon in universe then wouldn't that make mary jade kind of canon too i don't know either way she's not canon unfortunately and a lot of people were saying you know it's unfortunate but i'm glad this was cleared up fast and he said you don't want her brought back via bathroom stall which is very true i mean who wants to know that one of their favorite characters the wife of luke skywalker has been brought back into canon while you know doing their business on the toilet so anyways that's that but what we can do is take everything with a bit of a positive spin Lucasfilm now is very aware that the fans are extremely excited if mary jade would be brought back to canon so hey at least now they know, and maybe they'll be considering it. So I hope that she is brought back into canon. It would make the story in Star Wars, at least in Luke Skywalker's lineage and the Skywalker saga, so much more interesting in my opinion. Now, I mean, imagine if she was alive before The Last Jedi, and, you know, maybe Kylo killed her or something like that, and that would have caused Luke to seek exile even more. That would make a lot more sense to me. You know, there are a lot of different ways that I could make sense to Luke going away into exile. As Mark Hamill said himself, that Luke Skywalker would never escape and leave his friends like that and go off to some planet you know for decades he would leave for six months at the most and then come to his senses and realize you know what he has to do so of course there are a lot of things that we can think of and theorize on that would you know kind of make the the blow of luke skywalker leaving uh so much more understandable for his character and who he was and i think that his wife dying you know if mary jade were to be canon would be something that would be a little more understandable you know that, that would you know his whole entire jedi academy being burned to the ground younglings and everything being taken by kylo and then his wife as well. I think, you know, that's more than enough for him to definitely have a good reason at least, whether it's right or wrong, a good re- reason at least to just seek exile and get the heck out of there and turn his back on the galaxy, sort of. Now, my other theory as to how, you know, this is kind of turning into a theory video, but I'd like to go into this in more detail if you guys are still listening, of course. My other theory that would make a good explanation for why Luke was in exile was that it was deliberate in the sense that he didn't want Snoke to find him, or that he was finding a way to defeat Snoke because Snoke was so powerful, or maybe he knew that Snoke was Palpatine all along. Well, anyways, before I keep going on more theories and make this video a long one, I hope you enjoyed this. That is that. Mara Jade is not canon unfortunately but hey maybe she one day will be thank you so much for watching today's episode hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one until then remember the force will be with you always now fulfill your destiny